Today on DIY Solar Power with Papa, we're going to be talking about this MPP 48 volt 6500 watt off grid inverter. And it's called LV6548, 6500 48 volts. On this, it's really particular about how many panels and the way you string them together. In the owner's manual, it'll show you that you should be stringing these in series, either in three, six, eight, or 12. The eight would be for the 3000 watt, and, um, or you could use those with the um, three strings, three in series or six in series, but you wouldn't do eight in series, I don't think on this one, that would be just the 3000 watt. Uh, so looking at this, you can do, like I said, strings and series, but when you go to do that, you could do like two strings of six panels in series. So when you did that, you would take and parallel them together with these for the positive and the negative on these wires. So you would sit there and bring your two positive leads into this one and come out with just one and then your two negatives come out with just one and then you would have those wires just coming in so this would be your red one and this would be your black one coming in you have two mppt chargers on this we just have 12 panels on this one connected so we have six in series another six in series and then we use connectors like this to parallel them together and just bring in the two wires off of this on the ends so if we go in and we program this it's pretty easy you want to make sure that this is in the off position and then you just press this fault button until the screen changes and then you're going to use either these keys to go up or the top one to go down. So if we go up, <clears throat> the first one we have the set at is solar, battery, or utility. It will look for solar first, then battery, then utility to charge and run your system. So we have that set up on one. Number two, we have it set up to charge for 60 amps total between our um, input of our solar panels and our grid power and the grid assist so on number three we have it as appliance if you look in here you have a choice between appliance or ups now on this one model by itself it doesn't do 240 it only does 120 volt ac out oh we lost it on the screen so we're gonna have to go back in here press that button and scroll we were at appliance now on our battery choice oops we have our different types of batteries in there for number five and we have AGM so we have this set up as AGM number six if we turn the page is our auto restart and we have that enabled right there L it looks like an F and an E so that means it's enabled number seven is our auto restart when temperature over temperature occurs we also have that enabled number nine we have that set at 60 Hertz for North America and we have 120 volts because like I said this is your output voltage now you have a choice between 110 120 or 127 we have our set at 120. now if we had two of these inverters paralleled we could get a split phase we could get 120 240 out of this but we can't do it with just one so number 11 we have it down as a utility charging as 30 amps and you can set that to whatever you want we have our set at 30 amps.
so if we go to number 13, we have, that is your point back. We have that set up and it's uh, 55, but the default is 54. So if we go to the next one, number 16, we have this set up as SNU, where that is solar energy and utility will charge the battery at the same time. And we can do that, but we usually just run this off of solar panels. Number 18 is an alarm control. It's either BON or BOF, and ours is off for the alarm. Number 19 is our auto return to default display screen. We have that set up where that is on to go back. If it was ESP, it would would not, it would just stay on the same screen or go back. I'm sorry, it would return to default display, your display that's always on there. Number 20 is your brightness control. We have that as LON. Number 22 is beeps while the primary source is interrupted. We have that on. Number 23 is our overload bypass. We have that enabled. Number 25 is our record default. And we have that enabled as well. Number 26 is bulk charging. We have that set up as 56.4 volts. Number 27 is our floating charge. We have that set up as 54 volts. Number 28 is our AC output mode. And we have that set up as just single phase here. Now, if we had that parallel, we would switch it over. And like I said, if, if you want to change this, just press this bottom button on any of these and see how the SIG will start flashing. Then you can use this button to go up or down. And we'll put it on there. Once you've figured out what you want, you just press that bottom button and it sets it. Hit the middle button and you'll scroll to the next one which is number 29. 29 is your DC cutoff, and we have that set up as 44 volts. Number 30 is battery equalization. We have this disabled. We're not doing this right now. So 30 through 36 is all the equalization, and we don't have that on right now, so we're going to skip past that. Um, but we can go over the what it's set up as. Um, even though it's disabled, we have this one set at 58.4. That would be 60 minutes, 120 minutes, 30 days. Um, number 36 is the activation immediately. If you wanted to equalize your batteries immediately, you could go in there and press that. Number 37 is to reset all your data for your PV generated power and output load. We don't want to do that, but you could do it. Number 51, I'm sorry, number 41, which is not in the book. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Number 51 is um, enabled for on off color. And that's for this display up here is all that is and i think the rest of this is pretty much the way you want your display for this to show you um how you're lighting it up which i really don't mess with that stuff too much uh, so that pretty much will get you through that you can get down to um your data log would be on 94 and the data log recorded intervals you can change that to how many minutes you want it to do that then the next one is your to set your time so you could set your time on this 
Um, this is your minutes, hours, what day of the month it is, what month it is, um, and then 99 is the year, and then you just go right back to the beginning again. So once again, if you want to go in here and you want to change anything when you're on it, just press this fault button here and then scroll up or down. And then once you figured out what you want to change, press the fault button and you're set. Now, if you want to get out of this, just press this top button over here and you'll be out of it and you'll be back on the screen. Now, if you want to go I usually set mine up. This will tell you, if you scroll through here, go back to the beginning there, that's your default screen of your input. We don't have anything on right now. So now if we turn this on, you'll see that we don't have any input of our AC voltage to assist this or to charge the batteries right now. If we go to our next screen, that is your Hertz input, once again, we don't have anything in there. So the PV1, our PV1 down here, we don't have anything connected. So this is gonna be zero, and it's gonna be for your amps and your watts. PV2, we have 202 volts coming in on PV2, and we can go up to 250. And we have 0.4 amps coming in right now, 69 watts. And then on this, this is our battery amps coming out. How many watts we're using? So right now, we're our battery bank, which is just these cheap Walmart batteries on this one, we got two down there, two up here, and then we parallel, or we put in, sorry, in series using this two-watt cable here, real stiff. And that works great for that. Now, it's 120 volts out, 60 hertz, and then our percentage of output, we don't have anything on this right now, so we don't have a percentage. Our voltage amps, our watts, battery amps, and then we can go into our day, month, year, and then we get into our, where we're seeing, um, all the information, the data, so if we go into this and we go in and we put it on our watts, if we take, this is my freezer right here, my workbench. <laughs> if I take and I plug that in there, the thing's on high, and the coal is setting, you'll see that it will jump up to 592 volts. And you see I have no fault codes or anything like that. Now, if I take my other freezer and fridge and I plug that in to that, you'll see that that will jump to 2.3 kilowatts, 2.03 kilowatts. It'll drop my battery down to 47.4, 48, it recovers, and you can see that we're down to 788 watts again, and then we're down to zero, so those will kick back off and our battery will go back up again. So you should be able to take that load now on here, we only have 12 panels hooked up. Six in series of 250 watt panels and another six in series and we parallel those together. Now if we take this to the battery amps and we do the same thing again, we unplug these and plug them back in, let's see what we get. That's not gonna do it because it doesn't. <clears throat> See if we can try it. <sighs> All right, so if we plug this back in and plug this in, maybe we can get it to do something. No, it's not pulling anything right now. <laughs> so, can't get it to show anything right now. But hopefully that'll help you that you can get your system settings right and be able to get this to be able to charge your batteries um, and be able to 
get your system up and running. The uh, settings on this are a little different from these 2400 watt, 24 volt. Um, but when you go into the, the setting, it, it's the same process, just different buttons. This one over here, I would press this button to go in here. And then I'd be able to use this to go up or down on our settings. And then I could just use this button over here to escape and get back to where we were at. So we have that set up that when we escape, we go right back to the screen that we were on. So just remember on this, um, to make sure you look in here on how your panels and your battery should be set up, what size cables you use. Um, it's gonna help you a lot. And whenever I've tried to hook up like just two panels on here or four panels and gone different from what this says, this says that I should be either hooking up three pieces in series, six pieces in series, or I can, actually they, they want you to just on this one, the max you should do is six pieces in series and then two strings where you can parallel those two six pieces in series, that's one string, and then the other two six pieces in series, six pieces in series, parallel those together. So you can have 24 panels on this of 250 watts for me. I haven't tried messing with it to see if I could add actually an extra three, but that would chop down my voltage. So when I go to parallels together, that's gonna to make a difference on the uh, DC input voltage. So I'll have to play with it and see if I can get actually um, three strings of six, in series and then parallel those three strings and see if it'll let me do that or if it'll give me a fault. Anyways, hope this helps you. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and we'll be able to see those new videos that we do. Have a great day.